morning guys um today i want to talk to you guys about one of the drawings that i've been working on his name is steamhead actually he's a part of my book actually he's going to be one of the characters that's in my book he's a good guy and you know i want to talk to you about his powers and his role in the book now i don't want to give out too much but just say like the book is about i was walking upstairs to actually get my book okay i was walking upstairs to actually get my book now the book is about six individual people that got together and a form and formed a team and a family over you know the team and the family over this event now without giving away too much it was a certain thing that was out to collect all their souls so the six so the six people got together and end up facing this event and this is the book right here now steamhead now steamhead is one of the uh main characters he's a black guy i would say he's around six to maybe weighing 200 pounds Maybe a little bit less than six two. I'm I'm gonna say maybe six feet. Maybe six feet. Yeah, six feet weighing in like I said, one ninety to two hundred pounds. Solid guy. His name is Bryce Washington. Like that is his real name. His name is Bryce Washington and um he's African American, well, Black American. He's Black American, and he grew up on like in the in the streets. He grew up on the rough side of the streets, so he saw a lot of stuff happen in his uh, in his lifetime, including something bad happened to him. Something really bad. You have to read the story because I can't get that away. But something bad happened to him to get him in the position that he got his superpowers. So, this is like a recap of Steamhead. And, you know, like I wanted to tell y'all guys about like some of the stuff that like I drew. Like the picture is like continuously going to be on the side of the screen. Um, this was my first go about about making steam head like with the steam actually in his head and stuff and as you see on a picture the steam is like a mask it covers up his uh, features his facial his facial features and the only thing you can see is his eyes because his eyes are so hot that it's the only thing that can be completely um, detailed it's the only thing they can pick up detail out of his face, really. Now, if you can look closely, um, if you got that good of an eyes, you will see that he got an under thing for his nose. Like, you could tell with his nose and that because he got, like, a little shadow up under his nose. But I did that on purpose because I wanted people to see that steam his steam was like his identity cover like every mask i mean every like superhero most superheroes got like a mask and stuff but they they hide their identity so the way steamhead does it is by his steam it looks like it's incredible like i know eventually when i get better at photoshop that like these pictures gonna be better but for right now this is all i got and um yeah as you see steam heads um has a metal thing on his back as you see that's like a metal dome piece that kind of go it like goes halfway around his head you know it go i mean like yeah it goes halfway around like it doesn't it's not a full dome it's just like one of them half domes and yeah i know it's a flaw and him being able to look backwards but he have to turn like his his whole like his his 
upper torso to look backwards. That's how he looks backwards most of the time. But, you know, like as far as the metal dome piece, he has a spandex suit red with his logo. Well, not his logo, but um, his um, crap. I forgot the name, so I'm going to tip my tongue. But I'm going to say logo right for right now, but it's not a logo. It's um, his symbol. Yeah, his superhero symbol is a fireball, which you can see. And um, like I said, he got red spandex. Um, you know, it's nothing like the reason why he has steam too. Like another reason why, why I call him Steamhead is because one day I was watching a documentary channel. It was on the Discovery Channel, I believe. It was on one of them uh, like learning channels. And did you know they said the sun is so hot that if you take a cigarette lighter and uh, flick it, and if that uh, cigarette lighter flame was to get as hot as the sun, you wouldn't be able to stand 90 miles in front of, I mean, 90 miles around it. So, taking that into consideration, Steamhead can actually get as hot as the sun. He could literally get as hot as the sun, like... I don't know if the uh, it's accurate with saying 2,000 Kelvin. It's probably a lot hotter than 2,000 Kelvin. I'm not sure. But Steamhead can get as hot as the sun, literally. So what he does is that he's self-aware of, like it even says it in the book, he's self-aware of if he uses fire powers that he'll destroy everything within 90 miles and stuff. He could destroy half the world depending on how long and how much effort he put into throwing a fire blast. So the way he got around that was he used the steam from the, the steam from the tip of the flame actually. So that steam that you seeing that coming from his like like say if I ever build a cartoon, the steam that would be coming from his hands, it would be like just a little bitty spin spark a fire before you will see the steam indicating that he really does have fire powers but he uses his steam from the fire powers and that can actually melt everything like the steam alone can melt everything and when I mean it everything because he could get as hot as the sun so picture this like picture the sun rays and stuff like when you step outside, we ain't nowhere near the sun, but some people can still get sunburned and stuff like that. So his steam can literally melt everything, like tanks and all that kind of stuff. Like, cause everything has a melting point, and steam heads, uh, steam surpasses the melting point, the melting point, anything on Earth. Like, it's. Like, his fire powers is tremendously, he, like, it's tremendously hot. So, I figured, like, instead of making this, like, I'm glad that he came out this way because I didn't want Steamhead to be, like, a typical fire person. Like, now that I gave Steamhead that kind of ability and it has a reason why he uses steam over fire, that puts him in his own category for where he won't have to be, facing off but like from somebody like the human torch or he won't be compared to like I don't know a lot of other fire people out there like when you see Steamhead he will be unique for, from his own character and no like when he gets mad he doesn't flare up that's not why they call him Steamhead I just told y'all guys that you know it's because he can use he uses the steam from his flame to use it yeah yeah to like attack stuff and you know like this is my picture of him so far and what i'm planning on doing is going back after a while maybe like six months i'm gonna revisit this picture and i'm gonna try to make a realistic picture on photoshop because that's where i did this on i did this on photoshop but i'm new to photoshop i'm new to drawing so I hope y'all guys could understand like um, this picture might not be the greatest of pictures, 
but I'm starting. I'm learning, and um, my next one I'm about to try to work on is uh, Jay Brooks, and that's another uh, person, another story. You know, now I also got Kavea Bonds drawing, and I'll show you when I talk about her, but that's on the next book, actually. Like, right now, we stick it with the main uh, eight characters of this story, and the main eight characters, two of them are bad guys, and six of them are good guys. And um, I'm pretty sure y'all go, y'all guys going to love it. Like I said, Kav um Jay Brooks next. Her name is Potion, actually, too. Her uh, superhero name is Potion. Just like Bryce Washington, his name is Themehead. And um, I'm going to catch y'all guys in the next episode. All right? Peace. Peace.